The left jab. When I throw my left jab, he's going to counter. The first one I want him to use is when he parries, he's going to jab at the same time. As I jab, he parries, and he jabs me in the face at the same time. Also notice, when I start my attack, that's when he starts his counter. He moves in at the same time, and he catches me before my hand lands. He beats me to the punch. That's what countering is. Now, he's going to counter again my jab, except this time he's going to counter with this one low. Instead of going high to my face, he's going to parry the jab and going to hit my body. Notice he's parrying. He's not pushing it over. He's not using strength to block it away. He's just deflecting it. At the same time, he's bobbing this shoulder and he's jabbing to the body. That's why you have to learn to parry correctly because he doesn't know when I'm going to punch, so that thing has to be up there so he can time his counter. Okay, one more counter to the jab. As I jab, he's going to bob his right shoulder down and hit my body with the right cross. Again, his bread and butter defense has to be the parry because he doesn't know when I'm going to punch. So he can't hit my body every time. He's got to counter it and time it just right. And that's the counter to the jab. Okay, the last drill on the focus mitts with elbow strikes. We call it the blitz. The feeder is going to feed randomly regular elbows right and left. When I say ready blitz, Chelsea is going to attack with five regular elbows in succession. Okay, you guys. Ready? Go. Ready? Blitz. Blitz! Notice how she co covers with his other hand. Notice how her hips turn. Her shoulders turn. Power. Ready. Blitz! Come around this way. Ready. Blitz! Ready. Blitz! Good. Excellent. Okay, throughout this DVD, we've been exploring the kicking of Muay Thai. We did the round kick, right and left leg. We did the foot jab, right and left leg. Now we're going to explore some combinations. Uh, these are pretty basic, but that's what you're going to use uh, when you uh, get into a confrontation, either on the street, if you're fighting in the ring or in the cage. You're going to use things that you know you can do, simple things that you've trained over and over and over. So some of these are simple, they're easy to do, but they're very, very effective. The first one we'll do is a double right kick. Remember when I taught you, when you kick 
more than one time, always bring your foot back to the starting space. Bring it back to the point where you started the kick. So a double right kick. Notice each time I kick, I'm putting it down in the same spot where I finished and then come back again. And I'm also staying pivoted on my support foot. Focus on my foot just for a second. When I kick, I'm staying here. On my next kick, my foot is still here. I'm not going back and forth like this. When I kick twice, my foot is staying right here. It's the same pivot point. And the kicks are just as hard each time. Thanks. This type of knee is a short knee. Jeremiah, I'm going to use him again. This time, the short knee comes from when uh, you're close, like here, rather than far away where you can use the long one. This one is more like after I kick him and I'm right here and I'm a little bit closer to him. So as I kick him, he throws his right hand now. See how close I am. So I don't have time to get my hands over here like this. I'm already getting hit. So we'll go real slow. As I kick and then he starts to hit, my hands come on top now. Come on top and my knee comes straight up. Usually hits him in the chest or in the chin. But my knee is coming straight up this time, straight up. And I'm launching myself with my other leg straight up. And I'm deflecting his punch downward up like that. So I'm actually trying to put my knee through the ceiling, man, like that. Slow. OK. I'm going to kick him. Now I'm close. See how close I am? As this punch is coming, this comes down. Dai. 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 Straight down, dai, and knee straight up. Don't bend back. Go make your knee go straight up because I'm close now. So that knee straight up, straight up. Dai, 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 and that's the short knee. The next counter I'm going to show you against the shoot is the hop and kick. It's similar to the hop and knee, only as I get off the line, I kick with the shin, and I'm pushing his head a little bit farther away. Hop, and hit with the shin on the face or on the head. So it's kind of a short, uh, a short version of the round kick, and I'm just bumping him with, with the end of my shin there near my knee as I kick the face. Bang, right there. Do this one easy, because you'll. This, this look, I mean, it's simple to do, but if you go too fast, you don't have control. You'll, you'll accidentally kick and knee your person, your friend in the face. So go, go kind of slow at first. Hop off the line, kick the, kick the head, hop and kick. Hop and kick. Go both ways. Hop and kick. Notice as I hop, I'm pushing his head a little bit farther away so I can get the shin. Hop, kick. Hop, kick, hop and knee, hop and kick, hop and knee, hop and shin, uh, hop and kick, and that's the counter to the shoot called the hop and kick. <laughs> 